Do you remember Hakim Mastor? Who? A talent who was once called the future Neymar and predicted to win the Ballon d'Or award. In this video, we are about to tell you the story of the rise and fall of an incredibly talented boy and where he ended up as a result. Let's get started! Everyone started noticing Hakim Mastor at the beginning of 2010s. He performed for his hometown side, AC Reggiana. In 2012, he was involved in several tournaments at the youth level for Inter Milan, although technically he did not have the right to leave the Maroons. Nevertheless, at one such event, 13-year-old Hakim netted five goals, including the accurate shot in the final against AS Roma. He instilled great interest in the player services. Juventus, Barcelona, Real Madrid, Manchester City. All these giants wished to see Mastor in their roster. However, the technical attacker chose AC Milan, where he moved to for 500,000 euros in the same 2012. The Rossoneri bought the West kit on the recommendation of their former coach, the legendary Arigo Saki. Hakim, endowed with incredible technique, instantly became the internet celebrity. Videos with his fans gained an insane number of views and his fan base rapidly grew. The coach who transferred Mastur to Milan first team was Klarin Zadorf. In the last round of the 2013-14 season, the starlet got into the starting 11 for the clash versus Sassuolo. He could have become the youngest debutant in the history of Serie A, but he was not subbed on that day. Mastor spent the entire next year working hard for Milan's youth team and never made his debut as a constant in official games. Despite that, he got to join the action in a friendly, not against anyone but Real Madrid. Interestingly enough, the Rossoneri succeeded with a score of 4-2, with Mastor spending about 15 minutes on the pitch. An incredible experience for such a young man. The following hype surrounding Hakim's persona was enormous. The Red Bull company even shot a promo video in which Neymar and Mastor had a football battle. The video gained more than 10 million views on YouTube. Press like under this video if you also thought that our today's hero was destined to become a world football superstar. With the next campaign, the management decided to send the boy on loan. Subsequently, Hakim ended up at Malaga. For a player of his skill set, La Liga seemed like the perfect destination. Mastor moved to the championship where he could perform alongside his idol, Neymar. By the way, in May 2015, Hakim announced his decision to change the national team. His parents were originally from Morocco, so the youngster was keen on representing their homeland at the adult level, despite the fact of him already making progress with Italy youth. A month later, three days before his 17th birthday, Mastur made his debut for Morocco first team squad. Although it was only a two-minute substitute appearance in the Africa Cup of Nations qualifier against Libya. In the same 2015, The Guardian listed the kid among the 50 best players in the world born in 1998. National team debut at the age of 16, alone in La Liga, and excellent prospects in AC Milan. Things were looking good for Hakim Mastor's future, full of great achievements and victories. But… But our life happens to be confusing and unfair sometimes, and not everything goes according to the plan. Mastor failed his La Liga test, having only 5 minutes in a lost match against Real Betis for the entire season. Malaga were not at all impressed with the results of the now Moroccan wonder boy and proceeded to early termination of the loan agreement, originally designed for two seasons. At that time, Hakim was only 18 years old. Nothing terrible had happened yet, right? He was still young and promising as before. Bearing in mind, Milan sent the teen on another loan to the Eredivisie site, Pac Zwolle, a much simpler league and a club that did not set itself serious tasks perfect environment for the further development of a talented footballer. Unfortunately, Mastor failed to elevate his potential here either. Hakim made five appearances throughout the season, with only one of which as a starter pick. Moreover, his team lost all matches in which Mastor was involved. Needless to say, he could not stand out with any contributing actions. By the end of the season, Hakim returned to Milan and had one more year left on his contract another chance to show himself which the guy could not take advantage of. 
he made no appearances for the first team and eventually left the Rossoneri as a free agent. We've talked a lot lately. I even threatened him because he became more famous for making videos than playing. But he doesn't do that anymore because I told him I'd knock his teeth out. The then coach of Milan, Gennaro Gattuso, tried to direct Mastor to the right path. Things did not go better for 20-year-old Mastor even after his departure. In September 2018, he penned a one-year contract with a Greek Super League team, Lamia, where he played six matches in the first half of the year without a single goal. Already at the start of the next campaign, he allegedly got an injury blow, quarreled with the club for unwillingness to treat him in a proper way, resulting in the parties terminating the deal before the season came to an end. Regrets? Nothing. My path has helped me create what I am, and all the experiences have taught me something," Hakim stated back then. The following year, the lad concluded a three-year contract with the Italian Serie C side Regina 1914 and spent a season and a half for the Amaranth, again without scoring a single goal. In a while, he was sent in a half-a-year loan for another Serie C club, Carpi. Believe it or not, but as part of this team, he finally scored his first professional goal at the age of 22. Regina bosses were not impressed by his stats, though, so upon returning from the loan, the player's contract was terminated once again. Therefore, Hakim became a free agent for the third time in his career and seems to have hit absolute rock bottom. So where is this lad now? He had been staying without a club since the summer of 2021. During this time, judging by his Instagram page, he independently maintained his physical shape, as he published photos and videos of individual training from time to time. After a whole year out of the number one game, he appeared at the second division of the Moroccan championship club called Renaissance Zimamra. It actually happened in the summer of this year. Well, at least this team has a fitting name. A renaissance is what Hakim Mastori needs more than anything. As part of the new roster, for the first time in his career, Hakim began to receive regular gaming minutes. What's more, the starlet even netted a goal in his debut appearance. In addition, he has already been entrusted with the captain's armband. Before moving to the Moroccan team, Hakim revealed what prevented him from realizing his true potential in his opinion. I assure you that being Hakim Astor was not and is not easy. Because it puts a lot of pressure on you. Most people expect me to step onto the pitch and take the ball, dribble past everyone, and then go into the goal with it. I regret that I trusted the wrong people. They saw me as a slot machine, a squeezer. The boy commented. Who knows, maybe a positive experience in professional football will inspire Hakim to leave a slightly bigger mark in history. To begin with, he can start by setting a goal of proceeding to the Morocco's first division, and only then make a grand return to Europe. An average Belgian or Dutch league mid-table team would perfectly suit such a concept. There is no need to think about big clubs so far, after all the level at which he's playing now is too low. Still, we wish Hakim success in his future endeavors. Guys, write in the comments below whether you believe in Hakim Mastor's revival or not and whether we will see him again on the European football pitches. Take care, see you soon!